Welcome back kids. This is Ranjit sir once again with you. In the first module, I introduced the picture plan to you. Now let's go to the second module and know more about that plant. The pitcher or the jug has a lid. They also have a lid. You see that on top? Exactly, that's how our jug looks like. Haven't you seen that in hotels? They have a lid on top of that. Even this plant has it. Here, you see that in the picture? Right kids. The lid usually has attractive colors and there is a sweet smelling liquid inside the pitcher. There's a sweet smelling liquid inside the pitcher. Both these are useful in attracting the insects. Both of them attract the insects. On top the color and inside the smell. It attracts the insects. Kids, these pitcher or jug-like structures have a top covering which is of different colors. You call that a lid. Top covering. Also, there is a sweet smelling liquid inside each pitcher. The different colors and the sweet smell is used to attract the food of the plant. That is insects and flies. So insects and flies are the food of that plant. And the smell and that color of lid, it attracts the insects. They are food. The edge or the rim of the pitcher is slippery. When an insect attracted by the lid or the sweet smell, settles on the edge, it slides into the pitcher. Oh dear, the pitcher has stiff hair inside, pointing downward, which prevents the insect from coming out. The insect then drowns in the liquid and gets digested. You see the interior part of the pitcher kids? Yeah, there's a hair-like structure. So when the insect slips inside it, it is difficult for it to come out and it keeps going down into the liquid and there it gets digested. Kids, the border of the pitcher is slippery, very slippery. So when an insect sits on it, it slips into the pitches. The pitcher has stiff hair pointing downward which does not allow the insect to come out and it gets digested inside the pitcher. Oh wow, isn't that interesting kids? That's really interesting. Another carnivorous plant is the Venus flytrap. It is found in North and South Carolina in the United States. North Carolina, South Carolina. That's where it is found. It grows best in damp atmosphere but needs sunshine. It grows to about one feet, quite big. Now kids, the Venus flytrap is another example of a carnivorous plant. The name is Venus flytrap. It needs sunshine but also grows well in a wet atmosphere. Where it is wet. Mainly it is found in North Carolina and South Carolina. It grows till one foot, kids. That is how it looks. You see that? Yes. The Venus flytrap uses its leaves to catch its prey. The open leaves of the plant appear just like an open book. You can see that in the image, right? You see there? Yes, kids. There are hair in the middle of each leaf and they are very sensitive to touch. You see this hair on top? Yes. There are hair and it is very sensitive to touch. Explanation kids, the plant catches its prey with its leaves. The leaves open like a book and have sensitive hair in the middle of each leaf. When a fly or an insect comes and settles on one of the sensitive hair, the two leaves snap shut. Sensitive kids, quick to respond. They respond immediately. Snap shut kids, suddenly shut. Right, that's interesting. The insect is now trapped inside. Trapped, caught inside kids. The plant then secrets a liquid to digest the insect. Secrets, produces, discharges. Right kids, that's really wonderful. You see that? Yeah. 
once the food is digested the leaves open again ready to catch their next prey prey an animal that is hunted and killed by another for food in hindi the word is shikar it's shikar right you know that now kids when an insect settles on one of the hair the two leaves close and the insect is trapped inside it cannot come inside it is caught inside the plant gives out a liquid which digests the insect after that the leaves again open up so once they have digested the insect the leaves open up once again to catch its next prey why do these plants eat insects or small creatures good questions why do they eat these insects or small creature kids they cannot get enough protein from the soil so they eat insects or small creatures right kids they do not get enough protein from the soil enough they need so they eat these insects or small creatures isn't that interesting right kids so here we come to an end it was really a great experience teaching you this lesson thank you for your time bye bye